Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Got a story I want to talk to you today about, uh, you know, as being a diabetic, you know, weight loss is important. You know, you need to maintain a healthy weight. It's uh, key to health in general, you know, living a long, happy life. I want to talk to you today about a story I was reading uh, about uh, a new weight loss program. It's a little extreme if you ask me, but uh, let, me, let me talk to you about it real quick here. I'm reading this story off of SciTechDaily.com. Uh, it's about a new product called Dental Slim, the Dental Slim Diet. Um, it says, researchers develop world's first weight loss device. Uh, it says, University of Otigo and UK researchers had developed a world first weight loss device to help fight the global obesity epidemic. Dental Slim Diet Control is an intraoral device fitted by a dental professional to the upper and lower back teeth. So basically, they're going to put a dental implant on the back of your, uh, you know, in your back of your mouth here on your molars. Uh, it uses magnetic device with unique custom manufactured locking bolts. It allows the wearer to open their mouth only two millimeters. So basically, what they're doing is they're going to put this uh, magnet on your teeth, and it's basically going to, it's like a, you know, ultra strong uh, magnet. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to magnetize your mouth closed, basically. You can only open your mouth two millimeters. Uh, it says uh, they do that to restrict the dieter to a liquid diet, but it does allow free speech and doesn't restrict breathing. Uh, participants in a Dunedin-based trial lost an average of 14 pounds in two weeks and were motivated to continue their weight loss journey. Lead researchers... University of Otigo Health Science Pro Vice Chancellor Professor Paul Brutton says the device will be effective, safe, and affordable tool for people battling obesity. It is fitted by a dentist, can be released by the user in case of emergency, and can be repeatedly fitted and removed. The main barrier for people successful weight loss is compliance, and this helps them establish new habits, allowing them to comply with a low-calorie diet for a period of time. It really kick-starts the process. It's non-invasive, reversible, economical, and an attractive alternative to surgical procedures. The fact is there are no adverse consequences with this device. Mm, I want to talk about that. Uh, recent studies reveal 1.9 billion adults worldwide are overweight and 650 million are obese and being overweight or obese results in 2.8 million deaths per year. It is estimated about 57% of the world's adult population will be overweight or obese by 2030. In addition, psychological symptoms may be present, including embarrassment, depression, and loss of self-esteem and obese people may suffer eating disorders together with stigmatism and discrimination. The tool said the tool could be particularly helpful for those having to lose weight before they can undergo surgery and for diabetic patients for whom weight loss could uh, initiate remission. While uh, bariatric surgery plays a major role in the management of morbidly obese. It can be relied upon to manage this global epidemic. It costs about $24,000 a patient um, it live with the consequences of that for life, which can be, unique, can be quite unpleasant. Uh, the practice of surgically wiring people's jaws shut became popular in the 1980s but it came with risk. Vomiting brought uh, the risk of choking, and after 9 to 12 months, the patient developed gum disease. In some cases, there were continuing issues with restrictions of jaw movement, and some developed acute psychiatric conditions. Alternative strategies are required, which may obviate surgery or which reduce weight prior to surgery and make it easier and safer. The beauty of it is that once patients are fitted with the device, after two or three weeks, they can have the magnets disengaged. 
they could then have a period of less restrictive diet and then go back into treatment, he says. This would allow for a phased approach to weight loss supported by advice from a dietitian allowing long-term weight loss. Patients are given a tool to open the device in an emergency, but none of the study participants needed to use it while they all described the device as tolerable. The design has since been improved, making it smaller uh, to improve function and comfort and aesthetics. Overall, people felt better themselves. They had more confidence and they were committed to their weight loss journey, uh, says Professor Brutton. Uh, it's hard yards. Patients who really want to do this have to be committed, but for those people who are really struggling, and let's face it, that's millions of people across the world, this is a way of getting them back to normal lifestyle uh, diet habits by really pumping uh, priming the process. Uh, this could actually help a lot of people, says uh, Professor Brutton. So, uh, let's talk about this for a minute. Um, I'll, I'll put some pictures up, you know, so you can kind of get an idea of what this is, but uh, is anybody out there willing to magnetize their jaw shut to lose weight? I feel like feel like weight loss is more up here than it is right here you know what I mean weight loss is more in the brain than it is in the mouth if people want to overeat they're going to do it they're going to figure out a way around a magnet you know what I mean they're gonna you know you just uh, put your little debbies in a blender and make a smoothie out of them you know like wire uh, magnetizing your jaw shut or wiring your jaw shut it's not going to change the mental part of weight loss and let's face it that's what it is to me also i don't see how uh magnetizing your your molars together with a metal and magnet device is not going to affect your teeth how is that not going to like have adverse you know conditions on your teeth i feel like you're just going to be straining the two teeth that are magnetized together non-stop um i don't know i read this article and i thought you know the people that do this, they probably need a psychiatrist more than they need this dental implant because, um, you know, let's face it, a lot of weight loss is, uh, you know, stress, boredom. That's probably my biggest thing in this truck when I sit here, uh, you know, waiting on a delivery or waiting on a, you know, picking up something or just waiting to, you know, on my 10 hour break if I don't you know have something to do I said I eat a lot you know um, boredom you know stress of it you know that that's a big part of the weight loss uh, thing for me I, the part I have trouble with so for me this magnet thing it's just um, it's to me it's gimmicky I don't know you guys let me know what you think about it I uh, just thought I'd bring you that story I thought it was interesting what they're doing for you know weight loss these days uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I would want this. I think there's better ways to go about it. Um, but we'll see how it all works out. I'll keep you updated on it as it goes. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you could hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to get back to making more videos. I've been slacking here lately, but uh, we'll bring out more content. And uh, just stay healthy, everybody. I appreciate you. Bye.